bushes behind us, you feel me? Very nature-esque. You see the physique? Look at the fucking sky, bro. It looks like... It looks like what I had on my mind. I was just thinking, and I was like, damn, me being trans is like the most minuscule part of like who I actually am. And like the reason that me being trans even has any type of influence with my personality or who I am is mostly because of the fact that society doesn't accept trans people and they treat us like we're fucking outcasts and like the scum of the earth. So that's where a lot of trauma and things happen and that changes my personality, you know, like getting rejected uh, because of being trans. Now I have trauma, like now I just move different. I navigate the world differently. I'm just, you feel me? Like there's a lot of repercussions that come from being trans, but it's only because society puts that on trans people, LGBT people, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, that's basically the thought I was having the other day. And I was just like, that's so crazy that a lot of people just meet trans people and they like see them as just like, like the first thing they think is just like, they literally see trans above our head and it's like, that's so weird like bro we're literally just like you it shouldn't be so crazy for someone to find out like someone's trans like it's not that crazy but if you found out someone was cis you wouldn't trip like that but you feel what i'm saying bro it's just weird there's a lot of things that are just weird bro especially being a black man and being trans um or queer or anything not of the norm right there's so much homophobicness transphobicness all that type of stuff racism even within the black community and i'm not blaming black people for this but i'm we need to address it to get over it if you really ask a black person why they don't like gay people why they don't like trans people they really don't know why they don't like them it's just kind of like tradition to not like those groups of people you know what i'm saying especially being brought up in like the church community and then like the way that a lot of white people taught uh, Christianity to black people was just very not the way that you know what I mean like they taught like white people taught black people um, like when they had enslaved black people you know what I'm saying like in those times they taught them a like skewed version of what it means to be religious and Christian you feel what I'm saying because like I feel like that's why honestly this is like just me talking to y'all at this point I'm honestly not that like religious within like with, and I mean that in aspects of like, you're not gonna catch me in church, you're not gonna catch me having someone else tell me how I should and shouldn't be living my life. Now, with that being said, like, I don't mean that in a way to be like, oh, fuck anyone that's trying to like, you know, help people. Like, if you're genuine about what you do, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got the right heart and you're teaching the right, uh, like, knowledge, like, the things that you're saying align with what I think that God would be saying, then I will respect you and I'll actually, I wanna hear that. but. Like a lot of the times, uh, pastors, preachers, whatever, will be like talking about gay people, like, oh, there, you shouldn't be gay, oh, this is that. So it's very hard for me to conform to that type of Christianity. But I find myself being very spiritual, like, in the sense that I just know God exists. I don't think God has a specific gender. I don't think it's that serious. I really, I really don't think it's that serious. First of all, I don't, I don't think God is white. I don't think God is a man. I think that, like, God is just literally like love for real. Like I've heard a lot of people say this, but it's so true. And like, I'm I'm realizing that more and more in my spiritual journey and just me being alive. Like God is just love. Like when you move with love, bro, like, that's God being a good person, trying to be the best you, you can be to help others be the best them they can be. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't really know if I would conform to any like group. I don't, I don't like labels to be honest. I just am what I am and I'm doing the best for me. Uh, you don't need labels. See how I'm gonna tie it back in. You don't need labels to be valid. You know what I'm saying? If you know what you're doing, that's it. Just with me being trans, bro. People would, I think, find it so weird. They're like, how could you do this to yourself? Blah, 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 blah. I'm trans because that's just who I am. Like, everyone has a path they're supposed to follow, right? Like, we all have God's will. We all have our destiny, like, our what we're supposed to be doing, right? Like, me being trans is, like, that's what I was doing. Me following myself and listening to god and living like my authentic most authentic self this is what it is so how could that be wrong you know what i'm saying like if people really are so like trustworthy in god and everything like i don't need to believe in him more for real like why would he be having all these people come up saying they're trans for what like bro it's because we're not any different than y'all and it's not that crazy of a concept like don't over complicate it i know it's very tempting to just be like everyone else and just oh trans people oh i hate them gay people but like y'all only hate us because you've been taught to 
Like, we gotta unlearn a lot of the shit we've been taught. Like, it's because of religion and things that we heard growing up and, like, kids teasing you and being gay was had a bad connotation and being trans was like, what the fuck? Like, because everyone else felt like that, so you had to be like them. You don't have to be like them. Like, why do you hit another human you don't even know about, bro? How does me being trans affect you? How does other people being trans affect you? How does other people being gay and, and, and doing what they gotta do in their life affecting you? That just shows a bigger problem, which is people ain't worried about themselves. Like, I am so invested in myself and bettering myself and just like connecting with God and being on my real, like, being on my stuff, like for real, like doing what I'm supposed to be doing in this life that I don't even have time to really just be hateful and be worried about somebody else's life and to go out of my way and go out of my peace and my sanity to to just make someone else feel uncomfortable and to just make someone else's life harder. This man is biting trees, but that's how I feel like. People really go out their way and hate us. Like, if you gotta go out your way to hate something, my nigga, let it go. Like, now you gotta work. Like, I'm living in your head rent-free. You don't even know me, and you going to sleep thinking about, ugh. Like, that's wild to me. Like, like, bro, go do something with that headspace, with that energy. With that, with all all of that you just exerted, hating hating other people that ain't got shit to do with you, you could have been doing something better for yourself. You could have went on a run, my nigga. You could have you could have made yourself some food. You feel me? You could have something. But I just wanted to say that because I just needed to, and I'm trying to get people to like understand that trans people aren't that crazy, bro. Like I'm just really living my truth, and like people are gonna see like just how I carry myself, like. I'm not like, I'm not weird. Trans people ain't weird. Like, bro, I'm just me. You feel me? Like, I literally am just like this. And I, like, the same way so many things happen, it's like everyone is different, bro. It's like, why are we demonizing this? Like, we shouldn't be demonizing anything, bro. If people are living their truth, let them. That's what they're supposed to be doing. And if they're not, it's not even on you to, to ridicule that person. And, and you know what I'm saying? And be God. You're not God. Let God handle it. If God really hate trans people, bro, if God really hate trans people, gay people, he will deal with me when I die. He will deal with me when I die. You feel me? So, like, bro, stop stressing. If I ain't tripping, like, why are you? For real. Like, that's, I don't, I don't know, I don't know any better way to say it. I think I've, I've said enough. What I just said honestly hit hard, like, bro. Leave it up to God. Leave that shit to God. I got love for pussy pops. Bought that bitch so rock. Bought that bitch so rock. Is your friend bopping? Cause you know I'm homie hopping. Sipping Captain Mo, nigga. You know how it go. We a house, a bunch of hoes. Hoes, hoes, house. Hoes, hoes, house. Hoes, hoes, house. Hoes, hoes, house. Over there, some hoes, hoes. Off, I got that heart. How many freaking bras can you fit in your apartment? She bouncing on my dick, she bouncing on my dick at hard. Then I cannot resist, I'm about to fuck her on the car, bitch. Then she sucked my dick at the parking lot at Target. Then she let me hit in the band up at the market. I let her suck my dick, I'm acting like a pussy guard. Yard. Ghetto stripper, bitch, love the jack with hoes and start shit. The night is just a young bitch I don't know Jeffrey, but I know he on that nonsense And I got the dough and the stank Smell like armpits You know how I go when your house and all the hoes There's some hoes in this house There's some hoes in this house There's some hoes in this house There's some, hoes, hoes some bitches in this motherfucker This ain't this ain't out, but I got bitches riches in and out Draw a big old house, bitches streets wet water out Jeffrey Smith, house, not Jeffrey Jeffrey Dennis, body count, got a quick